Okay, it's the next morning. Trevor and me did a great job. Trevor was a good help. I don't know what the fuck he helped on, but he helped. So, uh, it's the next day. Charlie's here today working. What's up, Charlie? You got a haircut? Yeah. Wow. Haircut. That looks prison style hair. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to say that, dude. Okay. Now listen here, man. What's up on the truck here? Does it look different? Yeah, it looks a lot different. How does it look, buddy? It's pretty good. So we laid the clear down. I put three full wets of clear if you look at it. When I say full, I'm talking full. We're talking 100 degree weather here. So, uh, and uh, Charlie did a great job sanding it. It looks really good. He could have, you know, took a little bit more time, but he's learning. Right? Yeah. You got anything to say about that, Charlie? I could show you some mistakes in the paint job if you want. I think we ought to blow it off today since it's uh, Tuesday, right day after Memorial Day, and you seem kind of tired. Well, I need to know Okay, let's know. fucking forget <laughs> it right now. So what we got to do next, once Charlie's done uh, taping that off, taking all the tape off, which he's doing, that's the way to do it. So you got to pull it away from the paint. When you ta I take the tape off your car, pull it away from the paint and go at a slow pace, pulling it off so you don't pull the paint off with it. So what we got to do, we got to pinstripe that off. Now, the color on this isn't 100% perfect, okay, if you notice. Now, of course, it looks a little bit brighter in here because, you know, you got your lights on the top and there's no lights on the bottom. Okay, so, but it's really not that off. It just looks like it. Now, once we put the pinstripe, and I went ahead and got some pinstripe of this color right here, and we pinstripe that off right there, it's going to blend the paint in for us, and you won't even be able to tell that we painted the top half. So that's what's good about the situation. You saw the truck when it was done. Uh, before we started on it, it was a piece of shit, was it not, Charlie? Yeah. Okay. So Charlie, what he's got to do is get the rest of the tape off, the foam tape and the jams. He's got to open the hood, get all that done. He's got to pull it out and wash it. We're going to chamois it off. And uh, then we're going to put the uh, pinstriping on, wash it one more time. And we're done with it. We'll get a good look at it at the end. Do you have anything to say about this job, Charlie? <laughs> Think you did a pretty good job on the sand in it? Yeah. Was that a big sand job? No, not as big as the other one. Which one? That Q45. Q45 is a big job. I'm glad that piece of shit's out. Yeah. Well, it's not a piece of shit. It actually turned out to be a beautiful car. Yeah. I didn't know that thing was a V8. Did you know that? It was a V8? Q45. Uh -huh. oh. Alright, dude. Enough bullshit. Okay, Charlie, come on. Quit fucking me in the ass and get it done, bud. Don't forget to tape up there on the wipers and the little washers that uh, you didn't tape off when we primed. Remember that? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, that does have to be taped off, Charlie. Paint clogs up the window washers, my friend. Okay. So now we're going to have to clean those off and get them working for the guy, bud. Okay. That's another lesson you just learned, see? Talk to you later, dude. Okay. Is there a problem today, Charlie? You're not saying much. You sure? Everything's cool? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll talk to you later, bud. Okay. So that's how it's done. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a nice truck. So, all we did is paint the top half of it to make the guy happy, and it's going to look good. What can I say? You know, it's just another job, but it's a job that you can. Oh, shit. It might be just another job at the shop, but it's a job that you're learning something on, okay? How to paint the top half of your car, how to paint your roof, how to do this, that, and the other. That's what you're fucking learning here, okay? It might just be another car to some people, but it's something where someone out there is going to get a little bit of help to get them down the fucking road, see? Okay? And help them out. That's what it's all about. I see Charlie back there. He's uh, doing a good job. Charlie's learning too, see? Everybody learns something every day. You and I learn something every day. I learned that uh, when you work late at night and you go to bed late, you're tired the next day. 
This is Pete, I'll see you later. We'll be back to look at our Ford truck, half pint paint job. In the making. Easy, bud. Easy, Charlie. Okay, if you stand over here, you'll be in the back light, okay? All right, what we're doing is we went ahead and painted the car. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks 90% pretty damn close. Yep. So to break them two colors up, what we're going to do is I got some pinstriping here, Charlie. Now this is called tape pinstriping. There's different manufacturers of it. I use 3M, of course. And if you notice, it's basically the same color as what we got down here. Look. You see that? Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, see? I'm going to overlap that tail like I'm going to stick it down in there. Go ahead and stick this right on that line, nice and straight, bud. See that? Think of that. Now, what we're gonna do here is we got a situation, bud. Okay, this ain't uh, it's got a little crooked on us, Charlie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna try to peel that back, bud. See? Look. See what I'm doing there? Yeah. It's got a little crooked on us. And if you do this outside, once the heat hits your tape, you won't get it off, but Good. So all I'm doing, I'm just straightening up that line. There we go. That looks a lot better, bud. See yeah. that? Yeah. No, this is not a fancy pinstripe job, okay? No, it's not a hand-painted pinstripe job. But it's a fucking job! Do you understand, Charlie? Yeah. Something to put fucking, uh, you know, vittles on your fucking table out there in the country, bud. <laughs> okay, redneck style, right, Charlie? Uh, yeah. Don't have your redneck shirt on today. Why? Huh? Yeah, I got mud on. You got mud on it? Huh? You got... Oh, I got my, this one on the flaming one. Oh, okay. Which one do you like better? I like the redneck one. I figured that. I like the design on it. Yeah. Kind of a redneck, aren't you, bud? Good. See, if you took your car to Earl Shive, well, you know, I mean, any paint body shop, if you're not going to pay to have it, if you want a pinstripe and they're not going to pay to have it hand painted, this is what they're going to do for you. See, they're going to give you tape and charge you a hundred bucks. What do you think of that, Charlie? Yeah. I used to make good money when I did this. Okay, now what Charlie's going to do is give me the fucking camera, bud. Okay. They're going to pull it outside over there in the sun and we're going to look at it. Okay. So right. Like go. I said, this isn't really a you know, custom flawless paint job, but it is an overall top paint job. That means we painted the whole top half of the car, and uh, it's looking good. There you go. So if you look right there, it looks really nice. And, uh, you know, that's what you get when you paint the top half of your car and you want to, uh, you yeah, know, looks nice. See how the tape actually made it all blend together now 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 do you see the tape charlie why don't you put the tape on it all blends together yeah okay. it looks really nice i like it do you like it yeah i think we're done one more job done one more job out of the shop uh i don't know if we made any money on this job probably not how long it took but uh we made a little bit right i paid your paycheck anyway you got a paycheck right Charlie? yeah i got mine and it cleared yeah yeah of course it did <laughs> okay we'll see you later Park it over here on the grass so maybe, you know, get a little advertisement going, bro. Okay. Okay. That's what it's all about, you know. At least park it out here in the front where people can see it that they know that at least they know we do some kind of painting there, Charlie. Okay. There you go. Top half painted. Looks brand new now. Wow, what a difference can make with just a little bit of elbow. There you go, top half painted, looks brand new now. Wow, what a difference can make with just a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of hard work, and about a week's worth of fucking around. My name's Pete, and this is Bruno, and we're over at southwestrodcustom.com.